What's up you guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we are working on the 64 Comet Cyclone and the goal for this video is to drive this thing on the street and I will not be painting any parts. I will not be restoring anything in the car. The challenge here is to use what I already have to get this thing on the road. So I'll be taking a look at all of the systems in the car to make sure that everything is road worthy. And man, I cannot wait. I am super excited to drive this thing. So let's get started on the 64 Comet. So the first thing I'll be taking a look at is the brake system and I've already taken the cap off this master cylinder and when I took a look inside it looks to be pretty clean. I don't know if it's been replaced or if that's the original but I feel really confident that this thing will be working just fine. Um, I do have a big big surprise though we take a look at the back brakes when I took the wheels off I got a very good look back here and check this out let me take this drum off take a look right here look at that that is a brand new drum that was put on that is very good take a look over here <laughs> and it has brand new hardware brand new brake cylinder wheel cylinder and check that out brand new shoes as well this is just crazy let's take a look at the other side as well and as you can see we've got a brand new drum as well and over here brand new brakes as well man this is just crazy i don't even know what to say because stuff like this just doesn't happen to me but this has all been replaced with brand new parts and uh, i will be taking a look at this making sure that everything was put on correctly and adjusted correctly but man this little comet just keeps giving every time i take a look at it let's go back to the rear end over here and the only thing that i can see is that the brake lines were cut where the new wheel cylinders were at. So I'll have to make a brand new line to both cylinders and I might as well replace that rubber line as well because you just don't know about those, how long that rubber line's been there and you know, we wanna make sure this thing is safe. So I'll be replacing that line with that rubber line as well. Um, I'm gonna take a look at the front brakes I don't think I took a good look at them but maybe they have new brakes let's find out all right I've got the wheel taken off and it doesn't look like it's a new drum so I don't think the front brakes will be new I took a look back here and the rubber holes is cut off and there seems to be like a some sort of patch there or some kind of weird welding going on there uh, we have to take a closer look but what I want to see are the shoes and all the hardware let me put this down here okay so <laughs> there you go <laughs> there is nothing there so I'm glad I took this off because yeah we wouldn't have stopped anywhere with this thing so <laughs> oh my gosh okay we're gonna have to find some shoes for this thing I'm gonna go take a look at the other side and see if it has it but if not we're gonna have to go do the same so let's go check it out and just as I had suspected there is nothing on the other side as well um, I did find this piece of brake cylinder here this thing was just banging all over the place while I was pushing the car but um, I think I might have a set of drum brakes with the shoes and all that I'll have to take a look for it but again the goal is not to restore everything and buy everything new I'm just gonna use what I have to get this thing on the road and eventually I will be going with a disc brake setup for this car 
just uh, for now we're gonna go with the drums but um, let's cut to the music and let's fix these brakes Alright guys, we've got the brake system completed and everything is looking really good. Um, it did start it to leak from the back of the master cylinder once I started to bleed the brakes. Um, this is the original master cylinder from 1964 and this is where it started to leak. They do sell a rebuild kit for this thing which comes with that little piston in there. But I think with these a lot of times the bore inside gets corroded and it gets pitted and it will just never seal so a lot of times I would say just buy one new but I did have a, another master cylinder around here from the little 62 Ford Falcon project so I just used that one and I switched over all of the stuff to it that little distribution block with the brake switch and got the brakes and it's working perfect so we've got the brake system all squared away um, I think the next thing was going to have to be the cooling system. Um, I haven't tested this radiator, so I don't know if this thing is good or not. It looks to be pretty clean inside, if you can see in there. So what I'm going to do is just put some water in here, see if it will hold the water, and hopefully it does. That way we can just start this thing up and get this thing tuned up. Let's do it. Oh. Okay. Well, <laughs> this thing's got a few leaks. So, another one right there. Another one right there. Yeah. I don't think this thing is good. <laughs> 
so as soon as I saw this thing leaking, I jumped on offer up and right away I found this one. And this one is from a 65 Mustang inline six. It's got the transmission cooler as well. This one does not because it's a four speed. So I believe that's the original radiator for this car. But man, I picked this up for $10. And this is an original 65 radiator. I could not believe it. $10 for this thing. And it's been professionally cleaned. So this thing was just a steal to get. Eventually, I will go with a full-blown aluminum with a dual fan setup for this car. But for now, I want to drive this thing. I want to get this thing on the road. So for $10, man, you just cannot pass this thing up. So let's install this thing and... Let's get this thing going. I think it's time to drive it. We're almost there. Looking really good. Oh. Oh, I see a leak. There's a leak. Oh wow, check that out. It looks like it's from the water pump. That's a weird uh, leak coming out. It's from like the front uh, front bearing there, if you could see that. Wow, okay. <laughs> okay, she should come off. And there we go. Yeah, there was definitely some gunk in there. Look at that water port. Holy cow. Yeah, we gotta clean all this off. And uh, you don't want to misplace these bolts because they're, they're all a uh, specific size. But look at that. That's one crusty oil pump and it was leaking from the bottom so let's take a look at it all right here we go and to my surprise this thing is actually aluminum so i guess from uh pre-65 they're supposed to be all aluminum all the v8 cars get one of these aluminum pumps here's the part number CWP352, it's made in China, unfortunately, but it has lifetime warranty, so this is the one that we're going to put on it. They had it in stock. It's awesome. So, let's get to it. Also decided to take off the thermostat housing. I think it had a leak on the bottom here, so might as well replace the seal. When I took it off, it didn't have a thermostat in it. So let's put one in. This is a 180. So let's get this thing going. And uh, let's install the water pump. So let's get to it. All right, we've got the water pump installed and everything went out pretty good. There is one change between the old and the new pump and it is this bossing here. I'm not sure why, but they made it a lot bigger uh, space here. So you will need a longer bolt to bolt this thing down. For the rest of the bolts, I used all the original ones and everything bolted up pretty good. Um, one thing about this pump is just the, when I was handling this thing, it just seemed very cheap. Like the casting seemed very light, and yeah, just no comparison to the original Ford pump. This thing is pretty beefy, um, and I think it was leaking from the bottom of the weep hole. If I can find it here, 
right there I don't know if it was from there or from the front of the bearing here so I don't know if they sell a rebuild kit for these I'll just keep it in the parts rack for now and try to see if I can salvage this thing but it's pretty uh, rusty there <laughs> But yeah, you just want to be careful when handling this newer pump because I'm pretty sure if you over tighten these bolts here, you will crack this thing. This thing is pretty brittle, so just be careful with this. Um, I'm hoping this will last me just until I can cruise this thing for a while and just drive it around town. Just until I can take this engine out and give it a proper build here. So hopefully this thing will last me, but let's get all this other stuff back together and man, let's start this thing. All right, we're just going to take this thing out of here because, check this out, we've got a brand new air cleaner, and man, this thing is just awesome. Let's see if I can put it on one-handed here, and there we go. Oh man, that looks amazing, check that out. Now that is a proper air cleaner, but I want to give a huge, huge thank you to Garrett Duncan. He watches the videos and he loves the channel and he really wanted to support so he sent over a huge box full of parts that he wanted me to have so I never asked for anything but man it is always very much appreciated so thank you so much Garrett thank you for your support it really does mean a lot and everything will be put to good use I've already got the fan here that you uh, sent out as well and I think that's gonna work out perfect but there you go. I think it'd be cool to meet up someday and check out the Mustang, but I think it's time to start this puppy. Let's do it. All right, we're just gonna make sure that this thing is in neutral because we definitely do not wanna start it while it's in gear. But uh, here's first, second, third, fourth, and then reverse so there you go I think we might have to take this Hurst shifter apart and lubricate it and get it dialed in but it's working pretty good right now so let's see if she'll start we hit the brake just in case there we go and This thing is pretty loud. <laughs> I don't think my neighbors are gonna like this car. <laughs> Holy cow. There you go. A little bit of smoke. Probably, uh, oh, looks like a little oil leak probably. Right there. Yeah, a little oil leak. So yeah, these valve cover gaskets are really, really old. I should've gotten new ones, but there you go. This thing's running awesome. All right, guys, well, there you go. This thing is sounding amazing. I am just super excited on how well this thing idles. We got a proper idle this time with the coolant system all done. And man, she is sounding amazing. Um, I think I'm gonna have to turn this into a two-parter. I just still have a couple of more things to sort out. Uh, one of them has to be this um, throttle linkage. And the 64 Comet has like this 
weird uh, contraption here where you know this thing attaches to the intake and then one end attaches to the pedal and the other end attaches to the carburetor with some rods so I'm gonna have to figure this thing out and make it work um, the other thing that I have to do is get some proper hoses for this thing because this thing's got a huge kink right here and another kink at the bottom holes as well so that's not gonna do it we have to do this right and get some proper hoses um, the other thing that I have to do is bolt down the seat and then fix the lights as well and that is it this thing is ready to hit the streets and I cannot wait to show you guys the 64 Comet Cyclone on the street it's going to be amazing Thank you guys for all the support. Um, I love responding to all your guys' comments. I really appreciate it. And that's going to be it. I'll see you guys on the next one. Boom.